There are a lot of like fun moments like that in this game for me, but I think the most fun I had was, I mean, that huge sequence on Jetta, right? The uh, Trident? Is, sorry? We call it the Trident moment. The Trident moment. Yeah, Yeah, because with, with a huge ship. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah. And, yeah. The and the, all the portals and stuff. Like, oh my God, like what a sequence. Like, how did you guys like even think about having these, I don't know, all this teleportation and whatnot going on? Well, that's one of, so we wanted to, you know, we wanted Marin to have a special move that, that we've never seen before that mm. uh, like makes you wonder how many other tricks does she have. And, uh, you know, for, for that, it's almost like she's kind of the conductor of the orchestra of the winds. And, um, you know, we've got this secret weapon designer named Robert Bloss, who is really good at these action sequences. He did the, uh, in Jedi Fallen Order, he did the sequence with the Ninth Sister where she's chasing Cal um, in her ship, like as he's going like through like crazy slides on, on uh, mm, Sheik. Right. And it's like, you know, let's give it to Bloss. He also, Bloss also worked on the speeder bike sequence as well too. Mm. Um, and, uh, you know, like go to town on this, come up with something that's crazy. And it was always, it was one of those sections that's a, it's, it's risky for us as a team because we're, we're like, you really have to ha have faith that when all the pieces come to, together, it lands right. Mm -hmm. And this one was in kind of like what we would call gray box mode for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. And it was hard to kind of like, for literally a couple of years, rally the team to continue pushing through on this yeah. one because, um, you know, it's, it's, are we going too far with this one? But once all those pieces were there, once it's, it's, it, it's it starts with a kiss, they team up together, they take the trident down. Um, it's all, it's amazing. And we actually, even when it was in gray box, when we were focus testing the game, we saw it was getting continuously getting really good scores. Yeah. And that's without any context of like what's happening, like in regards to the magic and the moment, like the kiss and yeah. I, and you said like you're afraid of going too far. What is like too far for a sequence like this? Um, I mean, pulling a star Cal's, destroyer out of the sky, probably. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that, that's that's. There's a fine line, like when when it starts to feel like Cal is flying, and you mm. start to question things. Um, but it's all grounded in this magic that Marin's Marin's created, yeah. and it's uh, intermixed with all these Jedi powers that you've learned. Um, over the course of the game. So if you look at it in a, va in a vacuum and you haven't played the game for, you know, what is it, 12 hours up to that point, um, it might feel like it's too, you've gone too far. Mm. Um, but, but, you know, you've learned all these different powers leading up to that. And it, I think, I feel it, it's definitely earned. Yeah, it feels really satisfying, like having just learned all these abilities and getting a little like time to practice them, especially like that air dodge, which yep. is just so satisfying. But even more satisfying is just chaining all those things together in this like massive sequence uh, and all these other things are going on. But like as a player, you feel really good. Just like, oh, yeah, I can do this wall run here and then jump and then dash and then go into that portal. Like it was awesome. And the thing is, and I'm, I love to hear that. Yeah. Um, I think part of that is that we don't want it to be difficult. We don't want it to be something that's like a major skill check. We yeah. Want people to get through there, like most people to get through there their first or second try. And um, that's not it, always an easy thing to do when you're talking about platforming. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. But it does kind of, it does kind of guide you and it, and it gives you the, the tell so that I feel like most people had the, the enjoyment of getting through like the first or second try. So like, is that why we had like those tears that had the like more difficult platforming trials? Yep. Those were for the tryhards, the people who want to like, like, or masochistic, maybe like I want to, I want to, you know, I want to get through this. Like this is fun. I I love the platforming, those sections, those little tears. Those were great. I love those kind of. It made me a better player because sure. I was able to like. I was like, oh, I can use this platform to get this, and then I found myself like using some of those tricks in some of the later stages to be able to platform to things quicker than maybe the the laid out pathway because of those yeah uh, that's what they're there for i mean it's 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 a, a space not only for cal to train but for you to train as well too and it's again it's us putting value into things that are off the main path for those rewarding people for you know th that explore those um same with the with the um, um meditation like kind of like uh puzzle rooms that we have and everything like it's all it's it's all opt-in 
Like yeah. if you want to do it, you can do it. If you want to check out, you can check out. But uh, you, it was really important that we give the player that type of freedom. Well, um, what was your guys' kind of like philosophy going into those like the Jedi temples that we're kind of like diving into and solving all those puzzles? Because, um, you know, Zelda came out like years ago, Breath of the Wild, had all these shrines with all these really cool intricate puzzles. And then, you know, Fallen Order didn't really have that to my memory, if I don't remember. We had Maybe not, like, not opt-in ones. We, not had, opt -in. we had like when you learn the force, there's I mean, we had a lot of puzzles in the game. And, you know, I would be lying if I didn't say that, like, that we definitely um, draw inspiration from Zelda. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of cool mechanics in the game. We have some really ta talented level designers that like doing uh, creating puzzles. Um, you know, it's it's kind of like they have like this toy box of different mechanics that they can use to to um, create these intricate designs. And again, it's 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 all about creating these challenges for those who want to take part in it. Um, and we. We had kind of a clever rapper that these like were old like high republic mm -hmm. like kind of training centers like we we called it like um this is kind of like their their nasa pilot <laughs> training facilities type yeah. thing 